Hey everybody, this is Damien here, uh, Customer Success Manager for Trade the Fifth. Um, just going to give you guys a quick installation guide on our Elliott Weave suite for the MT4 platform. Um, so, when you purchase your product, you're going to get an email that looks a little bit like this. Uh, and see here, this blue box indicates uh, a download link. So if you click that, it will download a, a zip file. Uh, don't open the zip file, just make a note of exactly where you saved it. Okay, so here we are in the MT4 platform. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is obviously get a license key from us. So in order to do that, you're going to have to come over to here to the navigator pane and you're going to see under the account section uh, a number next to your name. So we need that customer ID number. So if you just take a note of that, email that to info at tradethefifth.com. Uh, I will then respond to you with a copy of your license key. So the first thing we're going to have to do here now is we're going to import the indicator suite that we've just downloaded. So to do this, uh, we're going to come up to here to file. We're going to go down to open data folder. And I'm just going to move this across. Now it gets a little bit fiddly, so bear with me, okay? So you're going to go to the MQL4 file. You're going to right click. You're going to open in a new window. And you'll see it here. Now in the new window, we're going to double click on the indicators file. So we're going to go into that file there. Um, go back to the original window here. We're going to go to where you downloaded that zip file, which is why I said make sure you take a note of exactly where you saved it. I saved mine to my desktop. So here it is. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag that across here and move it into the indicators file. There it is straight away. All I need to do here is I need to just right click and extract all and I'm just going to make sure it's going to get rid of that because I don't need to save it within it I just need it to save it in the indicators file and extract and there we have it so those files are now extracted into the uh, into the indicators folder so what we're going to do now is we're going to just go back into the chart and we're going to come down here into the navigators section and we're going to right click and we're just going to refresh and there you go it's just appeared out of nowhere so what we're going to do is we're going to just transfer this file over so we're going to literally click and drag the w5t elliott wave over and then you're going to get a pop-up like this okay so license key that's where you put your license key in um, on this one just make sure you delete the speech box before you in uh, uh, paste it in and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to common and we're going to allow the dill imports it's very important and then we click ok and there we have it we have all the uh, the six four lines appearing uh, what we can do now is for the oscillator and the stochastic we're just going to literally click drag it over and then click ok and there it is and if we want the breakout we can just bring that in make sure you put it to the bottom otherwise it will just share it in the same pane click ok and there it is. I'm just going to get rid of this one here. And there you have it. There it's looking good. One of the final things you need to understand is about isolating the wave counts. It's handy having all these uh, the, the colors around, but what we need to do is we need to assign a point of origin for the um, for the trend to kick in. Okay. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to assign a high point or a low point. Um, so the way we do that is you see this button here it says reset we're going to click that and then what it says is just find um, a price bar so find a high point or a low point find that candle left click on that candle and there you have it then it starts doing the wave count if you want to do it a bit further back click reset again and then we go back perhaps here and then you can see the pullback zones are, are kicking in and finally, I just want to go through the data set rules. This is hugely important because if you get these wrong or if you go back too far, you're not going to get the information correct or it's going to slow the system down dramatically because there's so many different uh, algorithms being run. Okay, So if you're doing a chart time frame of 15 minutes or less, you don't want to go back any further than five days. If you're doing 50 to 60 minutes, uh, 60 days really 240 minutes one year and then obviously you can see daily is two years and if you're doing a weekly time frame you can go back as far as five years uh, but I would say stick to this and you'll find you won't go wrong I get a lot of people actually coming to me with these kind of problems uh, and it's normally going back to the data set rules
So thank you very much for your time, guys. Um, like I said, if you've got any questions or any comments on this video, please feel free to email me. You can contact me at info at tradethefifth.com.